hard and earn the right to play, battle against the opposition, and at times his sides don't do that. Does he need backroom staff who will challenge his decision? Uh, there's backroom staff that will challenge his decision. Steve Bold would challenge his decision. Neil Banfield would challenge his decision. There'd be Terry Burton, who's a very good coach. John Cartwright, who's, a, who's one of the scouts. They are all top football people, but they can't challenge him because it, 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 he's a dictator in, in many ways. I don't think he, the relationship between Steve Bold and Arsene Wenger, if you see them on the, on the bench, they don't even talk to each other. They tell me Steve Bold is doing none of the training. Why on earth appoint somebody like Steve Bold, who's a good coach, uh, he did a great job with the youth team, he's got a great understanding of the game. Why isn't he doing more coaching? Because time and time again, I don't think Arsene Wenger sees the danger. I don't think he reads the game, because over the last five or six years, I'm not just reacting to this game last night, I'm reacting to games over the last five or six years. When things are going wrong, when the team are making mistakes, he doesn't rectify them. And the reason he doesn't rectify them, because he doesn't know what the mistakes are. So Stuart, you know what I'm going to ask you, is it time up for Wenger, in your view? In my view, it was time up three or four years ago, and 